You know what? From this day forward, I'm gonna do my best. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Well, anyways, you better find out as much as you can too. Remember, you only have until Friday. I'm counting on you too. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Ah, the phrase Mono Susumajiku also occurs in Ugetsu Monogatari. Of the Ugetsu Monogatari stories, I'm particularly fond of the one about the ghostly wife. Such an eerie yet poignant story. Speaking of which, I know a good ghost story. Would you like to hear? Then his friend, who entered the tunnel with him, suddenly began to scream. There's a girl right behind you! Frightened, they ran back home. But he started to hear scratching noises each night. And a faint voice saying, Let me in! Let me in! But as far as he knew, the room adjacent to his was vacant. One night, he decided to knock on the wall where the sounds were emanating from. Mm -hmm. Right next to his ear, the voice came loud and clear. I'm here! And that's where the newest member of my family came from. He grew up to be just like an ordinary human. I'm just dreading the day he'll say he wants to marry some poor girl. Oops, there's the bell. Okay, class, that's all for today. Yeah, I don't get it. Probably it's a joke that goes completely over my head. Sorry. You went outside with Junpei. I keep getting this feeling that everything's so peaceful at school. Everyone seems to be having fun, but they don't know what's going on. That doesn't make a difference or anything, but... It's like I feel this wall between us and them. That's okay, because I don't really talk about serious stuff with them. Hey, wanna go eat something? Hey, it's Junpei! You going home? Your classmate Kenji came over to talk to Junpei. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you, Ktone-san. Oh, if that's who it is, you should have told me. It's nothing like that. We live in the same dorm, so we... Hey, why are you getting your phone? Ktone-san, mind if we take a picture together? My sister keeps bugging me for pictures from school, but all I have are guys. What'll she say if I don't show her at least one picture of me with a girl? But still... A picture? Wait, could it be you? Is it you? Yup! Wait, what? I I'm gonna tell you this is a friend, got it? Peeping on girls is a crime. Who's peeping? I just asked Katone-san if it was okay. Not just now, P.E. Pictures, the ones going around. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't know anything. Oh, right. You're only into older women. That's right. At least I'm proud of who I am. So, what's this about? Are there pictures of her going around? Uh... Wouldn't the photography club be your first bunch of suspects? The photography club? Oh, I totally forgot about them. All right, we'll go check it out. Thanks, Kenji. Make sure you smack him for me, too. Why? You decided to go to the photography club with Junpei to find the source. Gekko Kanahai, photography club. The distinctly sour smell of the darkroom wafts about. The other club members are out right now. What did you need to ask about? Oh yeah, this guy also sucks. Th there's supposedly this photo going around. E you know anything about it? Going around? What photo is it? Culprit? Ooh, what's this about? Are you some kind of detective? C 
calm down, Katone. Um, it's a picture of her, and it looks like it was taken during P.E. Oh, so you mean someone was being a peeping Tom? That's why you're here? You sure you don't want to join the club? Oh, well, it's not me. Also, none of our members would do such a thing. Huh? But that's... I know, people who love the art of photography would never stoop so low. That's dumb. I can tell you none of my people would have done it. What do you think, Katone? Can you trust him? Junpei asks you quietly. I can't trust him, but whatever. Wow, thanks! It seems that he heard you. I'll ask all the club members too, just in case. I'll get everyone with the digital camera to show me their data too. Sorry, but that's pretty much all I can do to help. I know it must be rough. The president seemed kind. It seems that there's nothing more than you can ask about here. In any case, he went back outside with Junpei. Hmm, you know, we haven't made any progress at all. I guess we'll just have to go about this in a more direct way. I'll try asking my guy friends again too. Wait right here. No prob, leave it to me. It'd suck if your social life got ruined by something like this. Junpei seems to be fired up. Junpei seems to be genuinely concerned about you. You feel like the bond between you and Junpei has grown stronger. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spread the rumor around even more. Well, let's just go back for today. He went back to the dorm with Junpei. Where have you been? Yo, let's go to Tartarus tonight! The lost are everywhere, and it seems like it's only getting worse. Plus, there are these freaking rumors going around school. We need to let off some steam. No. Up, dude. Hey, are you looking into that ghost story? I know you're lying, man. As for me, I got better things to do. I say just leave it to you, Katan. Besides, I have plenty of scary stories up my sleeve. I bet you were seriously creeped out when you heard that story the other night. They say it's true, though. Kirkukon High School, Student Council Room. Only Hidetoshi is here. Sorry, it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's actually kind of nice not having those hyenas around. There's something I want to take care of before I go home. Hidetoshi seems troubled. About the cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I have to do something. Soon. As you can see, the meeting's over, so you can leave if you want. You're probably busy all the time, too. You should take a break once in a while. Hidetoshi seems more cheerful. If you have the time, please stay and listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Hidetoshi stood by the window and looked down at the courtyard. A man without position, honor, or education. What can he cling to as he struggles through life? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? While gathering information for a story, a TV anchor woman was injured on the job. The executives for the TV station called it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine learned they were hiding something, the execs pointed the finger at the scriptwriter. 
They said it was the writer who had concealed the truth. He was made into a scapegoat. That man is currently serving time for perjury. It was he who taught me the meaning of sincerity. Hidetoshi bit his lip. In today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, Katone-kun, I'd like to build a corporation where everyone is treated fairly. But to do that, I need enough power to make my vision a reality. Hitotoshi poured out his soul to you. His words seemed truly heartfelt. Villain origin story. Your relationship is stronger now. It's getting dark out. Well, seems like we're done here. I'll walk with you to the door. You decided to go back to the dorm. Where have you been? about ghost stories that now I'm having nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. But there's so many stupid rumors going around that it's tough to put them all together. I did get some useful information, though. I'm gonna look into it more today. Hi, library. Very few students have come to make use of the library today. You're bored. We haven't had many visitors today. Oh, that's right. Miss Onishi said that some new books have come in. Can you help me put barcodes on them and enter them in the system? I'll go get them. If anyone comes to the counter while I'm gone, help them. Sori seems to be enjoying herself. Sorry. Sorry bumps into a female student who just came through the door. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, son. Um. The girl is obviously flustered for some reason. Oh my god, it's the girl with buns, the same one who, who's bothering me and Akihiko last week. Me? What is it? Well, um, could I borrow your physics notes? The teacher erases the blackboard too fast for me to copy them down. Oh, of course. I've been busy. I've been taking a lot of notes for physics, too. I'm not too good in that class myself, so I need to pay attention. Oh, um, that's all right. I see. Give me one second. Sori pulls a notebook from her bag and hands it to the girl. Oh, great. Thanks. The student leaves. Sori sees her off. She's my classmate. <laughs> you noticed? We don't know each other all that well. But it feels good to have people rely on me. So... Sori smiles slightly sadly. I've never gotten used to this school. You're a transfer student, but you seem to have grown accustomed to this place really quickly. I see you sometimes in the hall and you always look like you're having fun. I thought other people would think the wrong thing if we started getting along well. Sorry smiles. You feel like you understand a little bit about the situation Sorry is in. Um, well, 
What was I doing? Oh, I was going to get the new books. Watch the counter while I'm out. You did your duties in the school library committee and left school with Sori. Where have you been? Wow. Hey, remember what we talked about on Monday? The ghost story? Let's talk about it some more tonight. Yep, I heard some interesting stories. Don't forget, okay? Today's Friday. Did you two ask around like we said? Huh? We have something planned for today? Junpei, I told you. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. Man, you have such a short temper. Then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Don't forget. Yes, ma'am. have one one more level of uh courage i'm still very stupid though why do i keep doing that in front of the dorm akihiko is completely silent huh Oh, no. Sorry. Akihiko scratches his head. Look, if you don't want to tell me, then you don't have to. It's just... Is it true you're going out with Junpei? I see. Oh, no. It, it was just a rumor I heard. Sorry. Okay, so in order to do Akihiko's romance route there are certain flags you have to activate because if i don't answer don't get the wrong idea senpai in this rank which is like i don't know rank five right rank five or six i forget um but uh like this is the hardest one the other two are more obvious uh one is telling him he's charming and the next one is saying that like he's in love and then you agree to be his his boyfriend but even if you, like, agree to be his boyfriend at that part, if you didn't pick, uh, don't get the wrong idea senpai here, or, or, like, later on, you're charming, but I guess that one's a little more obvious, uh, then you will not be able to romance him. You'll get that scene that, like, uh, where you get together, and then the last, uh, rank will just be the normal friendship arc. It's, uh, it's, it's really weird. So, if you're going to romance him, make sure you do this. Uh, I see. Anyway... I'm sorry. Akihiko seems apologetic. It's bad enough that I listened to a rumor, but then I confronted you about it. It was incredibly rude of me. If I hear anyone, anyone say that again, I'll tell them it's not true. Yeah, I don't like rumors either. Akihiko nods seriously. Um, should we go get something on our way home? Oh, we're already all the way back at the dorm. Um, do you want anything to eat? Yeah, that might be nice for a change. Akihiko brightens up as if a major weight has been lifted from his shoulders. Could Akihiko have been worried about you? You feel that your bond with Akihiko has gotten a little stronger. 
And this is actually like referenced in uh, other social links and events as well. Okay, wow, I was way off. It's, it's It wasn't five or six, it was four. Um, but like people thinking that like you and Junpei are dating because you're like best friends and you spend so much time with him. And I think that's just such a cool detail because like, even though you literally can't romance Junpei, like he does not have feelings for you and uh, you can, um, like there's no option to do a romance route, route with him. Uh, later on in January, you can confess to him and he will reject you. Uh, but other than that, like you're just like, you're, you're just best friends with Junpei. Um, and I think that's a really uh, neat detail how everyone like thinks that you're, you're like a boyfriend and girlfriend because, because you hang out so much. Well then, shall we? You and Akihiko went out to eat, then returned to the dorm. Okay, as we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course, I got lots of good info. It turns out, no angry ghost was involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? <laughs> First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. Since the girl was found on school grounds, there's at least one similarity to the ghost story. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? There was a dying message. It was a ghost all along. Please, let it go. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out the reason. Over the next few days, there were two more similar incidents. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people were talking. Next, the victims are in different classes, and they don't seem to be connected. However, they did have one thing in common. What was it? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? They ate out a lot. I think this is like Katone's genuine guess like I definitely see her as like a genius in school but a complete airhead uh anywhere else ate out a lot are you crazy what's that got to do with anything well some families never eat out. yeah that's a good point quiet. Junpei they hung out together not ate out a lot not just once or twice either they got in with a bad crowd and were always out late it can't be just a coincidence so to find out what happened we're gonna do some field research Field research? Are you kidding? Yeah, there's this one place where the three victims were regulars. Wait, you're not talking about that place behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you're familiar with it. You can't go there. I've heard some nasty rumors about that place. Is that so? Well, then we should all go together. You'll come, right? Next time. Come on, where's your spirit of adventure? There's not a moment to waste. Forget it. That place is bad news. I mean, don't you think we're getting in over our heads? Up until now, all we've done is take orders. Does that feel right to you? I know what you mean, but... Man, did you have to say it like that? Guess I don't have a choice, do I? Okay, we'll go tomorrow night then. You agree to go to the hangout tomorrow night. It occurs to you that you have plans tonight. Okay. I am going to go to the store. You're spending time with Maiko at the playground. Hungry. Can we go to Wild Duck Burger? Yay! I can't wait! I wonder which toy they're giving out today! Maiko cheered right up. You decided to take a trip to Wild Duck Burger. Ibotoda Strip Mall, Wild Duck Burger. The hours, hours flew by as you enjoyed a tasty meal. This is yummy! 
I love going out to eat. Cause mom and dad never argue when we go out to eat. They never used to argue. You have to believe me. But why would they get they get a divorce? Fell out of love? Micro is about to start crying. I don't want them to get a divorce. Did they really hate me that much? Divorce is dumb. I hate it. <laughs> Micro is sobbing loudly. What will you do? You tried to calm her down. I'm sorry. I know it's embarrassing when I cry. I'll try not to cry anymore. Maiko is trying her best to smile. Your relationship is stronger now. Um, I guess I should go. Thanks for playing with me today. You return to the dorm after walking Maiko home. All right, let's get going. What's your hurry? I still think this is a bad idea. I mean, bringing two girls there is like, like wandering into a lion's den with stakes strapped to my face. How could you be afraid of ghosts, but not be scared of this? It's easy to get freaked out by something you can't see. Don't you think? Actually, I'm more worried about things I can see, like bats and knives. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on, it'll be an adventure. More like a suicide mission. Huh? <laughs> hey, you know it. Leave it to me. Come on, let's go. And he'll still reject me. Tatsumi Port Island back alley. Several boys and girls are hanging out. The hell? Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh, man. This is worse than I thought. They're being mean hey, to yeah. us. I think you're in the wrong place. Uh... Well, I... You don't belong here, get it? Beat it, goatee. Uh, goatee? Oh, you you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Take a look around you. I'm not blind, you know. Come on, don't be intimidated by these scum. What was that? She just called us scum. <laughs> we'll post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. She'll wish she was never born. <laughs> That's so clever. These guys are the worst. You ought to learn to shut that trap of yours. Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a pain in the ass. Huh? <gasps> Junpei! That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave, all right? Who do you think you are, dumbass? You want some too? But the punk's fist was easily dodged. The guy from the other day headbutted the punk, knocking him backwards. Oh, shit! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive? Want to give it a try? Uh, uh, screw this. <laughs> what a loser. Damn you, Shinjiro. That's right. You're from Gecko High too, aren't you? You better grow eyes in the back of your head. The punks ran away and the girls walked off laughing. Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! Hey, I remember you. You clowns were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots! Get out of here! This place isn't for you. Wait! We came here for a reason! Did Aki tell you to come here? Uh, no! Hmm. <laughs> What do you want to know? About that ghost story? Uh, yeah. How'd you know? It's a rumor. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night about all the things they'd done to some girl named Fuka. Fuka? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Fuka's spirit that did it. Fuka's spirit? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Fuka girl might be dead. She hasn't been home in over a week. 
Are you serious? I thought she was out sick, but she's missing? So much for the ghost story. Mr. Ikoda is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. It's you who can't let go. Ah. Nothing. That's all I know. Satisfied? Thanks for nothing. What are you saying? Did you not notice what deep shit we were just in? Um, thank you very much. You even gave us a hint. You're very kind. Huh? I, uh, never mind. Don't come here again. The young man named Shindro left. You decided to return to the dormitory. Yeah, I wonder what that was about anyway. Let's not talk to Mitsuru about it. a sappy jelly. I, I'm gonna buy this just because I'm really curious about what it does. I mean, I guess I won't find out uh, until I use it, but I'm hoping it restores some SP. Dude, 